Hi everyone, this is Ollie from Magic Hands Hobbies. Welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to look at painting a series of models, starting with one in particular. When I was much younger, in my early teens, I was uh, shown a game uh, by my cousin, and this game brought me into the world of fantasy adventure and would later um, lead me into D&D. This game was HeroQuest. HeroQuest is a dungeon crawler, as I'm sure many of you are aware, and quite recently uh, Hasbro brought out the renewed version for 2021 with new sculpts, uh, but pretty much the same original game. And what I'm going to be doing is working my way through the models, gradually painting uh, them one by one, including all the furniture and the doors, and I'm going to start producing a new series based on this. And that series will be called Trust in the Wash. Now what I mean by that is I'm looking to show a very quick and simple method for painting. And I'm going to be deliberately painting some of these models with some of my worst brushes and not paying particular attention to huge amounts of detail and taking huge care because you can be surprised at the amount of detail you can achieve with very simple techniques. So I have all the undead characters here uh, with the exception of the main uh, enemy characters and I've undercoated them with black. You can see we've got the skeleton here with his scythe. We've got some mummies. These are the standard mummies and the standard skeletons. And we've got zombies. And then we've got some additional skeletons that come in the add-ons with the sword and shield and a bit more heavily armored. A couple of female mummies. And lastly, a couple of female zombies with Kirkies by the looks of it. So with this video, we are going to focus on the mummies. We're going to apply a base coat. In this case, it is mummy robes, uh, which is a color from Vallejo game color. We are simply going to apply this all over. Don't use one of your good brushes. You can see mine was pretty uh, banged up. Just literally apply a good coat all over. Doesn't need to be perfect at this point. We're then going to get some Agrax Earthshade and put the wash all over the model. This will stain the bandages and make it look a bit more authentic. Okay, so once the wash is dried, we're going to take a dry brush. Now this is actually a very cheap makeup brush that I got from a local supermarket. And we're going to take the original base coat wipe off the majority of the paint from the brush and lightly brush from the top down catching all the highlighted areas and just giving it a bit of an edge highlight without having to go across every individual bandage so you can see it's turned out pretty nice but we're not done yet we have got some flesh so we get some necrotic flesh from uh, army painter and we're going to fill in all the areas where we can see exposed flesh now it's not very easy on these models it's not always obvious where you need to put this and who's to say that it's actually skin showing through you know it's possible that it might just be a bandage underneath so I'm picking out a few areas that appear obvious around the face around the eyes some of the hands um, definitely the toes which you can see sticking out um, and that will provide a bit of variety for rotting flesh and we'll come back in a minute and we'll apply some wash Okay, so that's all dried. We're going to go back to our Agrax Earthshade and apply a light wash across all the areas we've just painted with flesh. This will help bring out the shadows. It will automatically create some highlights. Um, if you want to, you can go back over the top of this once the Agrax Earthshade is dry and apply physical highlights, but there's no need. 
This is the whole point. The wash is pretty much doing all of the work for you. And so with the wash done uh, and dried, all there is is to base it. For these models and the majority of the HeroQuest ones, I'm simply painting them a brown on the base. Um, it's like a stone brown. You can see I've applied it to the other models, including the female mummies. That's basically it for this one. If you've enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!